Hello, my name is James Kazmersky. I have viewed several of your videos and I found them very interesting. I have decided to discuss the future of uh, communications, digital or forensics, uh, excuse me, mobile communications and the security or the digital forensics um, side of them. Uh, Moore's law, which uh, pretty much states that the number of transistors in a circuit will double every two years, uh, has been kept up with technology for, for quite a while. And um, it seems like now it may be changing where technology is really advancing. Um, with, the, with the introduction of the Internet of Things, um, we all joke about uh, our refrigerator calling us and telling us to pick up some eggs and milk on the way home from work. Uh, this is the reality that we're facing. It's not, it's not science fiction anymore. Uh, I just read the other day that Visa will be providing the athletes from South Africa a, um, a payment ring. Uh, what it is is a uh, ring that looks like a wedding band. It has its own uh, chip and antenna in it, and it will allow the athletes to pay for things in Rio uh, with just the swipe of their hand over the, the device that receives a signal. Um, this is quite an advancement um, from where we are. And again, uh, with the Internet of Things having, excuse me, having a chip in these devices uh, will we'll allow them to be hacked. Um, and it will, they will, in some cases, have to be uh, investigated. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about maybe it's not a simple thing as just a refrigerator calling your cell phone. But, you know, people can do uh, hack... Um, Electrical plants and power plants, uh, you know, airplane control systems, train control systems, uh, anything that's out there with a with a chip in it, it, it has the capability of being hacked. And again, doing digital forensics on these devices will be required to um, to, to discuss, you know, discover what's been going on. Thank you for listening.